The second group of exercises that we do in workout number one involves a one dribble figure eight, then continuous through the legs, all right? And Coach Nix is gonna help us out, show it again to you, okay? Again, what's important, your stance, all right? You've gotta get used to strengthening up these muscles. Your core muscles are very important to be effective in the game of basketball, okay? Let's see Coach Nick do it, okay? We're going one dribble and we're going through the legs, all right? Now notice he's staying low, but that ball is dribbling outside his foot. All right, outside his foot. Now, Coach Nick, I want you to dribble the ball inside your foot and show him what we shouldn't do. All right, pound, push it, pound, push it, pound, push it. That's not what we want. What that ends up doing, okay, is making the basketball go backwards, all right, because dribbling the ball is angles, all right? So you don't want the ball to go through your legs and backwards. We want it to come out on the side so we can still push forward out the move, okay? He was using his shoulders, staying in that stance, feet nailed to the ground, that was perfect. What we get into next is a continuous through the legs. It looks like this, all right? We're just circling that ball through the legs, through the legs, through the legs. Now, notice, he had a little bounce to him, all right? We teach our players all the time that handling the basketball involves some rhythm, okay? You can't be stiff, you're gonna have to use your shoulders because that's how we fake. Think about a wide receiver in football. They don't just fake with their feet, they use their shoulders. Same principles in basketball, okay? That's how you have to do the one dribble through the legs and the continuous through the legs for exercise number two and workout number one.